Some tips and tricks on the Kronos uh, pre-show. Uh, I would say uh, some scales, things like that. The Kronos is a weighted keyboard, so me, with my background in classical music, I did a lot of technique exercises, scales, arpeggios. Um, but I find that what even more so, um, there's a few exercises that I do where you like press down on all the keys, on all fingers, all you know, 10 of your fingers, you press down and then you do some independent finger exercises where you lift um, each finger and lift the key while holding the other ones down and you do that for all five. And that kind of uh, warms you up a little bit, strengthens you out, I like that. <laughs> With Galant, we've been covering Learn to Fly, uh, Foo Fighters. So um, that one is fun. Me personally, I tend to lean toward people like Alicia Keys or Erica Badu. I really like R&B and soul music, so I love that. I did a actual uh, a YouTube cover of Lenny Williams, Because um, You Love Me. So it was, yeah, I just, I just, I like that style of music. So I, I'll tend to kind of mess around in those veins. I've gone for miles and miles in search of a right direction. I long to figure out, but I keep on forgetting all of the lessons that I've learned. How many bridges have I burned? Where did I go missing? Somewhere in CeeLo Green was a very wise boss to work for. Um, he's really street smart, so he had a lot of advice to give us. And I remember one time we were in rehearsals, getting ready for some show, and he sat down, he was talking to us, and he said, don't, don't ever get comfortable. I'm never comfortable. So I always thought about that, because you know that was my first professional touring gig, and I learned a whole lot on his tour, um, even from the basics of learning what a tour manager does versus a production manager and all of that. But um, that was one thing that did stick with me and, and that's something that I agree with. <laughs> as a female musician in the industry, there haven't been as many challenges as you would think. Um, for me at least, just because I tend to just sit down with anybody and let's play, let's jam, let's have fun. But there are other times where I was packing up my gear or standing side stage waiting to go on and then after the show some of the crew guys are like, oh I thought you were just somebody's girlfriend I'm like way to go and it's like oh come on give us a little more credit so um, I think there's certain challenges oh she's a girl she can't play or she's not as strong as me or she you know I think there's some of that mentality but um, I feel like in the world that I've existed as a musician I've never let that really stopped me from trying to make music and being in bands. And I've been in bands of all women, uh, which is really fun. And I've also been the only girl in a band, hence what's going on right now with the Gallant band. So um, I find it that I'm, I'm kind of, I don't have ba barriers in that way.